What's up tribe? Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome to the vibe, welcome to the tribe. Make sure you hit subscribe so that way you don't miss none of this content. Today we are going to be diving into and talking about the new moon in Sagittarius because this energy is exactly what we needed coming out of eclipse season and Scorpio season. It's been a little dark and I feel like we need some more light to come through to, to bring us back alive. So let's talk about it. I'll see you over there. So we have a new moon happening happening in Sagittarius, November 23rd, 2022. So the new moon is all about bringing in new beginnings, fresh ideas, new projects, setting new intentions, really getting yourself wrapped up for the next 30 days of the next lunar cycle. Really being in a place where um, you're able to really reflect on you who you were 30 days before and what you want to see coming in or what do you want to bring in all right so the new moon is when the dark when the dark when the moon turns dark so when we're in this complete darkness right it's just like being in the womb is really being fertile being in a quiet place sitting within yourself and really focusing on what's to come next what do you want to birth what do you want to create this is where anything is possible so the new moon is very 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 beneficial for us every what is it every lunar cycle we have a new moon every month so really take advantage of it you guys and it's in Sagittarius and Sagittarius okay let's talk about the Sagittarius Sagittarius energy is known for their optimism. They're known for being journeymen. They're known for being confident, enthusiastic, having a sense of adventure, really not giving up about anything and really just going for it and wanting to expand what they know, wanting to expand who they are and expand, you know, thinking deeper and creative and really grow and expand themselves more than any other zodiac sign, even more than Aries, honestly. Um, so Sagittarius is all about new projects, reanalyzing old projects, reanalyzing old behaviors, habits, and really wanting to have new inventive ways of progressing it. So with the new moon being in Sagittarius, this is a great time and you guys might even be feeling this energy already where you really are beginning to look at old ways of yourself or how you used to do things and now you're really wanting to recalculate that. You really want to invent it in a different way. Whew. First of all, Scorpio season. Okay, Scorpio season was... It was good at first. Now I'll give it to you because I love a good Halloween. All right. But Scorpio season, these past couple of weeks have been too dark. It's like, Lord, where is the light? Where is the light at the end of the tunnel? And then not only that, but we have a couple planets that are retrograde. Mars is retrograde till January. So our drive, our ambition it's gonna be it's gonna be a little friction there okay right now it's not the time to rush into these projects right now for the rest of the year is the time to really hibernate on them focus on them and get your shit aligned okay jupiter was retrograde but it's going to be stationed on the 23rd meaning okay jupiter retrograde is all about okay where are you not growing okay you're working toward this but you're not showing any growth you're not really getting anywhere with this project or with this new idea or this new sense of self okay so jupiter retrograde is going to show you hey baby you ain't this is some bullshit right and then saturn retrograde comes in and tells you you need to get this shit together this is where you're not disciplined this is where you're codependent Okay, this is where you have some addictions. Yeah, we're going to abbreviate that with Pluto so we can get your ass back straight. Okay, so with Jupiter being stationed, okay, it's going to help you move forward. It's going to help you analyze these things, analyze where are you not being your best self so that way you can progress to the next level. Depending on where Jupiter is in your chart will be really great to see because that's where you're going to see like, okay, where is this transiting in my chart? If it's transiting your fourth house, then your foundation of your family, your growth, your mom, all of those issues when it comes to having stability and family is going to be disrupted. So you may be feeling like, oh, I, I just feel out of place i feel like i am not supported i feel unsecure i don't know what's happening something is happening here in this area if you're having jupiter retrograde say 
your 10th house then maybe your career is something that you're reanalyzing like I am stagnant here this is I'm not getting a promotion I'm not seeing anything that is sparking creativity for me I am completely like over it all right so with all of this energy happening for us this week you are give yourself a round of applause because you made it out of Scorpio season and now we are at the end of the eclipse season you have made it baby you are a phoenix you are out here really thriving coming out of the ashes feeling your energy come back feeling a new sense of self if you aren't feeling that yet you will be feeling it soon because a lot of these planets are going to start becoming stationed and you're going to feel as though you are ready and prepared for the next level of yourself but do not rush all right don't rush this is not a race this is a marathon Set your intentions, your manifestations, embark on that new project, get the ball rolling so that way you don't have to hold back. No strings attached, baby. This is Sagittarius energy. No strings attached. This is all about adventure. This is all about having fun. This is all about nothing coming between you and your dreams and your goals. This is you not standing in your own way, your mind not being limited to the possibilities that are in front of you. This energy you need to really take advantage of it and really set your intentions and really sit with yourself like you are within the womb and actually curating and creating something so that way when it's time for it to be launched you are out of here okay you're rocket blasting toward what you need all right with that being said this for me and we're going to dive into tarot in the next video i just really wanted you guys to get a sense of what you should be expecting very short sweet to the point but we're going to be talking about how i feel as though we are all going through this major transformation like the death card so now that we're here and that we're talking about this something that i also want to point out that i've noticed within these energies is everything for me has been surrounding the death card i really feel even throughout the collective of who I've been seeing, who's people I've been connecting with and my, you know, spiritual practices of talking to spirit. I really am seeing that we are going through this major transformative moment in our life. Obviously, after eclipse season and Scorpio season and all these retrogrades, of course, we're going through transformations. But listen, this area of our lives, this phase to me really represents the death card and if you're not used to tarot death comes for everybody okay it comes for you no matter your status no matter your age no matter your race so it is very 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 hard to basically mourn pieces of yourself that are really being exposed and destroyed in order for you to bring in those manifestations that you've been wanting or those intentions that you've been wanting you are you have to hold space to allow yourself to mourn those old parts of yourself because you are losing it it's like you're completely crumbling the foundation of who your what your ego has set for you and creating something new so of course it's going to be uncomfortable of course this death area this transformation area is going to be like a crucible it's going to be you know things that are creating something new but you don't quite understand it so you just have to kind of sit around and wait like like i said in this new moon and really sit and wait and allow the sun to come and allow the dawn to come back up allow things to you know fall back in place when we're going through this eclipse season this death era this transformative energy <clears throat> the only thing that can really give you some sort of peace is going back to tradition going back to you know things that have worked in the past things that are stable things that you know are stable things that are foundated all right so what do you have if you're losing pieces of yourself that you thought was already foundated if you are constantly okay <clears throat> you told yourself that you want to be more productive you want to focus on a b c and d with not distractions but however when life starts hitting you with those curveballs okay <clears throat> And you have to force yourself to work through those and face those head on. But you're so used to maybe dissociating on social media. Okay. All right. I know y'all feel me because <laughs> 
if you're so used to foundating and resorting back to social media you are not growing you're resorting back to your old ways so you're not going to see growth but now that you're in this this eclipse season or these energies are testing you again <clears throat> they're testing you again to see what are you going to do in adversity when you're trying to grow or you're trying to achieve something and your car breaks down okay or you get sick all right or you know something happens so it, it, something life happens as usual and now you have to face that instead of focusing on that what are you going to do are you going to face it head on or are you going to go back into your shell of who you were and not get anything done what is your mindset who are you becoming this new moon this energy jupiter retrograde stationing this is what this energy is all about this death card transformation season right now for us this is what it's all about okay harvest season reaping what you sow what are you what are you sowing and what are you reaping ask yourself that okay <clears throat> let's do a little tarot reading for the collective okay because we want to i really want to hear what spirit has to say as far as what are we reaping what are we sowing right now like what is this <clears throat> We understand that we're in this death card, transformative energy. A lot of us are finding ourselves. A lot of us are trying to figure this shit all out, all right? <clears throat> so I want to ask Spirit, Divine. What is this death era? Where does the death card come to? Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. You guys. <clears throat> we have Ten of Pentacles energy. What this... <sighs> This is so powerful, you guys. We come from the death card, all right? The death card where it came for children, it came for adults, it came for older people, it came for people in a high status, low status, it did not matter. To becoming an energy that is 100% invested, an energy that is bountiful, plentiful, okay? We are harvesting so much. I really feel like this year particularly was a year of learning yourself in a, in a way that you didn't think you could really learn. Realizing what is important to you. Realizing what matters the most. What do you consider abundance? What do you consider wealth? Figuring that out and separating yourself from the internet, separating yourself from your family ideas, separating yourself from your friends, everyone else's thoughts, but tuning into your own. And that is why this was so uncomfortable because you are now in a space where you have to face your own demons. You have to face your own shadow. And I feel like a lot of us have been running from our shadow, really thinking our ego, operating through our ego, <clears throat> thinking that was the shadow when in reality the ego wasn't the shadow it was a whole nother being of yourself that you didn't even tap into or recognize so when it came knocking on your door you're like what the hell is this right Whew. <clears throat> and excuse me i sound stuffy my sinuses are stuffed baby i'm so sorry let me see what is the lesson that was learned at this time spirit what lessons have we gone through i want to see because i know for some reason i feel three major lessons <clears throat> all right let's see all right so we have the seven of wands we also have four of wands and we have the hanged man so these are the three lessons that we all had to learn during this time. All right. And honestly, these three lessons really, to me, look like it's like destroying parts of yourself that it, I just know is so uncomfortable. Seven of Wands is all about persevering. It's all about really beating yourself not beating yourself up but defending yourself defending what you want defending and putting in that energy and not giving up with that being reversed spirit 
kind of took that away it really took that motivation away and by adding so much on your plate that now you're questioning what am I doing wrong am I doing something wrong like what is happening I keep pushing forward I keep going through but I keep getting hit with so much that it keeps putting me back and I really see it with the seven of wands it's like okay what are you fighting for do you know what you're fighting for and what you're fighting for or how you're fighting it is it worth it is it really benefiting you in any way is this the first time that you've had to fight like this okay now we have to take a pause with this hangman we need we need to show you a different way of thinking we have to show you a different way or enlighten you about the things that you've been fighting for or the things that you deem too worthy or the things that you deem is true happiness because honestly and truly this is not what true happiness is this is not what you would want this is not going to benefit you in any way continuing to do this particular thing maybe it's how you're doing something it could be how you're planning to do something it could be how your mind has been programmed to deal with things all right these things have been are being revamped you guys these things are really turning around for the better but it feels like it's happening to you and not for you and trust me I know but you have to really let spirit take control you have to learn how to let go and let God literally so that way with this temperance back of the day energy you'll be able to see more clearly and that's Sagittarius energy by the way You'll be able to see it more clearly and you'll be able to take what you've learned in the past. Take what you know now and actually create some shit and not repeating same cycles over and over and over. Unless that's your prerogative. Unless that's your prerogative. <clears throat> All right. Let's pull some oracle cards. <clears throat> we have full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. <clears throat> Got a lot of jumpers here. Your hard work is paying off. Luck is on your side. New moon is Sagittarius. How ironic. And we also have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. <clears throat> Let's see what other wisdom spirit has for us today. We have the serpent knowledge and healing. And it's number 23. Hi, ironic. The new moon is happening on the 23rd. <clears throat> All right, thank you. Trust and focus. Yes. Uh, yes. So let me, let's dive into that. Because the energy, the overall theme of the new moon in Sagittarius is really learning how to trust yourself all right learning how to do things that are in a way a little off beat from what you're used to okay trusting yourself and allowing yourself opening space for you to do these things to gain the knowledge some of you may be so young I feel like I'm some of my young audience. You guys are really young. You're not supposed to have this shit figured out. You're not. You're not. Some of us, okay, just hit 20s, right? So if you're 25, you're only five years old in adult ages, baby. You just got into this. <laughs> you just got here. Give yourself space to learn. Give yourself space and grace to find the knowledge. 
<clears throat> let yourself have that so that way when you turn 30 you're not playing catch up let yourself figure this shit out now allow yourself to make mistakes making mistakes is okay starting projects and ending them starting them ending them starting them, them is normal it's good that's great that's exactly where you want to be <clears throat> some of us are in a space where we are completely lost because we have no guidance we don't know who to look up to our parents didn't do it they they made us they get they got us to this part of the marathon but there's a whole part that we need to run that you need to figure out and it's not their fault they only knew what they knew and they gave you everything that they knew so now it's time for you to take what you know and go make something better go make something bigger and give them grace okay trust yourself trust trust and allow yourself to learn don't grow up too fast even if you have children i understand even having children and can be you know a place in your life where you feel like you're supposed to have it you're supposed to have this shit like three years ago <laughs> right and that's understandable and that that is that's a, a cookie you have to swallow because yeah you have children right and that's okay it's not nothing bad but you definitely have to give yourself space to learn and grow okay so release that negative mindset release the limited li beliefs please do it now while you have that energy supporting you and then just figure it out go go seek adventure seek adventure stop focusing on i have to settle down now no you need to to explore you need to explore there are so much things out there than just where you are in your life right now or in your city or in your environment that's probably why another reason why you feel so much friction is because your spirit your soul is yearning for something more than you true than you understand my father told me telling me since i was very young lean not on your own understanding and what if you continue to lean on your own understanding you will continue to be lost because you do not know everything and since you don't know everything, you don't know the possibilities that are out here. And you don't know the miracles that the divine can do for you. So you need to learn how to step out of yourself. Step out of your ego. Step away from your shadow. And consult your higher self. And follow the signs. Follow what is aligning with you. If you do not know or can't discern what is aligned with you and what isn't. What's your energy and what's the rest of the world's energy. That means you are not in tune with yourself. You are too in tune with your phone. With social media. With everyone else and not yourself. That's why you feel lost. That's why you can't align with what you need to do for yourself. Because you're not within yourself. You're distracting yourself with everyone else. Okay? I'm just saying, Pookie. <laughs> I'm just saying, baby. Don't shoot the messenger. Mm -mm. Let's get into it. Let's get into some more oracles. And then we're going to end this message off. <clears throat> the king of water cancer within one to three months during the summer ruling planet the moon gentle nurturing defensive resists change self-protective and feeling we also have venus goddess of love attraction um grace relationship abundance pleasure happiness the empress <clears throat> all of these energies right the chariot the empress water venus these are energies of enjoying yourself enjoy yourself enjoy yourself enjoy yourself with me like michael T the, like the jackson said yeah enjoy yourself please get back in tune with your body get back in tune with your soul when you get overwhelmed that means it's time for you to take a step back we have the king of air 
diplomatic, kind, balanced, sociable, artistic, indirect. Okay, King of Error is a person who researches. The King of Error is someone who does a lot of research, is very knowledgeable. They go based off of their logic. Okay. We also have the Tower card, standalone guidance, institutions, experience, ego, corporations, legal systems. We also have the Sun, yes, energy, power, climax, fulfill, success, divine masculine, daytime victory, happy and warm. So I really feel like with these cards, you guys, these are just reminders, honestly. These are reminders to really keep your eye on the prize keep your energy high keep your vibes high what are you eating okay make sure you're eating more greens okay a lot of us are in the winter months who we aren't seeing a lot of sun okay the sun is going down as we speak so take your vitamin d eat your greens okay iron b12 um ladies prebiotics like make sure you're staying on top of that because that also can contribute to your energy your mood your mind okay so stay away from fast food you guys really pay attention to what you're eating stay active if you feel yourself getting depressed because it's winter time get in the gym go for a walk get you something okay you need to be active you can do 100 burpees one in, in a day do 100 burpees 10 rounds of 10 Get you active. Get that blood pumping, all right? For real. Everything is up in the air right now as far as energy for some of us. So don't, don't be hard on yourself. Let it come to you. The knowledge will come. The messages will come. Focus on your dreams. Focus on the signs. Focus on who you're aligning with. Sometimes you have to go seek those things by aligning yourself with people who are on that level not associating with people who aren't there or aren't even thinking about it you have to associate yourself with people who are already in the mix of it in order for you to excel to that level that is i just feel like that's just duh <laughs> millionaires hang out with other millionaires actually million millionaires hang out with billionaires okay thousandaires hang out with millionaires because they want to get there right same mindset all right so with that being said my tribe my beautiful people who are aligned with me who will watch this video i love you guys so 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 much on the new moon depending on what i'm doing depending on how you guys are doing i probably will go live to do a new moon ritual with you guys us just talking about things some journal entries and things like that i will also leave in the comments because i want you to start thinking about it now before the energy hits so that way you're prepared to know what energy you want to start right so with that being said if you haven't already subscribed to the inner circle the inner secret circle where i post daily tarot readings uh our rituals if you want to participate in our rituals elemental readings and things like that if you want more of a one-on-one -on -one personalized feel that is just us in our tiny little circle that's safe and comfortable and allows us to evolve spiritually which is the whole point of this channel i would love to have you there but if you haven't already definitely make sure you hit subscribe like and share this video please comment down below how do you feel about this message how does it relate to you because i would love engagement and i love hearing you guys' opinions all right so with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye